if I had to start making money online, but I had to use zero dollars to get started, there are three main ways that I would go about creating my first base of income so that then I can invest it into bigger things in the future. What's great about these three different methods is actually that they can turn into huge businesses and you are starting them with zero dollars. So you could actually start doing this and then realize that you actually want to grow and scale any one of these three models to something much bigger. But you can also realize that I just want to build up a base of 500 to a thousand dollars and then start buying products to sell on Amazon or buy products to sell on Shopify or Walmart. It's up to you. But these three methods will help you get started with zero dollars and turn them into much, much more in the future. Now, the very first one is actually selling services. Now, I know this may sound like, uh, hey, this isn't an online thing, but there actually can be many online services that you can sell for business owners that you can help them with. But ultimately, the reason this is one that you can start with zero dollars is because it is all a return on the investment of your time. So you're going to be putting time into doing this business, into selling these services, but it costs you zero dollars to get started. And if it is a service that requires you to buy products or inventory, such as like painting for painting houses, right? Paint brushes, that kind of a thing. Well, you can still sell the service first, use the deposit to then go buy those supplies, and then you can provide that service. And so what I recommend is that if you're someone that has a skill, whether it's something around the house or it's something that you can do online for business owners, whatever it might be, just start posting on Facebook that you're looking to take on clients to get this business off the ground. If you can't afford it, or if it is a true service, let's say you want to be a personal trainer and it doesn't require any inventory on your end. If it's a service like that, then you potentially could even offer the first five clients for free so that you can get testimonials in the future. And when you're done with your 90 day boot camp with these five clients, then maybe they'll want to turn into paid clients moving forward to continue getting those results. But you started with zero dollars and you're turning that into much more moving forward. If I had to start everything over with zero dollars, services would be the way that I would do it because it is just an investment of your time. You're able to price yourself based off what you feel the time is worth and based off the market. And this allows you to bring in income without any additional expenses for inventory or other things. Now, if you're trying to make money tomorrow with services, then if you can provide things around the house and it's more local services, then that is doable as well. And you can make those posts on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you have people that you can talk to to see if they need something done. Maybe you send out an email to your friends and family or send out text messages, but this allows you to get started with zero dollars, making money tomorrow potentially, and definitely much further into the future. If it's something that you like doing and you can grow and scale it, then this could become millions of dollars of sales for you if it's something that you do well and decide to scale. Now, this brings me to my second option for starting with zero dollars and turning it into sales, which is actually drop shipping. Now, this is something that I want to talk about before I get to my favorite one, which is my next one on the third opportunity. But drop shipping is an actual business opportunity that exists. I think sometimes it gets a bad rep because ultimately there's a lot of horror stories from people that tried drop shipping. I've done drop shipping in the past and had big problems with it, and I've had good successes with it at different points as well. It ultimately comes down to finding finding a legitimate supplier that has a history of success with drop shipping products for their customers to the customer's customers, if that makes sense. And so if you are doing drop shipping, you do need to fully vet a supplier, you need to fully vet the products and make sure that they are good. I also personally recommend that you don't find overseas suppliers because there's issues with shipping, there's issues with quality control, sometimes the samples they send you are different than the things they actually send out, and that drop shipping can become messy if you have a bad supplier, you get a bunch of bad reviews and returns, you get chargebacks on your payment processor. These are big headaches that you want to avoid. So if you can find a legitimate distributor, dropshipping distributor within the United States, if you're in the US or whatever country you're part of, and you're able to actually get good products from them and see good success from them with their other clients, then this is a winning supplier. Now with dropshipping, it does come down then to how do you find the clients? Now, if you're somebody that sells on Amazon, since I have a lot of Amazon sellers that follow me, you cannot dropship on Amazon from Walmart to Amazon or from Target to Amazon or any other retailer to Amazon you cannot drop ship to. However, you are allowed to drop ship if you have a legitimate supplier, manufacturer that's drop shipping for you. That is allowed. I personally recommend that people don't do drop shipping on Amazon anyway, just because the risk to your account is too great. Rules could change in the future. But if you do want to get started with drop shipping, then checking out ways to create a Shopify store, or create a click funnel of some sort and putting that up for people to purchase those products or those different items from you. Now, usually you're going to need an audience. So uh, a lot of times people will pay for that audience, which requires money. And this is a video about $0. So 
I recommend finding your tribe of people. If you are interested in BMX or you are interested in pet products or guitars or certain types of products that you like and you're involved in those communities, then seeing what those communities actually need and then finding a good product to fulfill that need and a good supplier that is reliable for you, then you can launch this with zero dollars by you know doing it with your friends or doing it with the people in those communities that you serve, whether it's on Reddit or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, whatever it might be, if you're able to provide a solution for the needs of your customers in a good way with a good price that makes you some profit, then this is a recipe for success with some drop shipping. And once you start getting your first five or 10 sales and you get reviews on your website, then that's where you can then take some of that extra money and put it into Facebook ads to target those particular communities and you can grow and scale from there. Drop shipping does have its headaches, but it does give you the ability to start with zero dollars for buying inventory. And once you have enough income, maybe then you can create your own private label product. That way you're no longer drop shipping, but you're buying inventory to sell to your actual customers. Now, this brings me to my third option in this video, which is actually my favorite option for the majority of people, which is actually going from free to paid. So if you're somebody that has the ability and the drive to turn free products into paid items, then that's where you can create big and quick wins for your own business and for your own pocketbook, so to speak. If you're someone that wants to go to Facebook Marketplace and you can find free items that people are giving away and you can take them in, maybe fix them up a little bit, then you can sell them on the same marketplace. That is absolutely an opportunity to take $0 and turn it into $100 or to $50. Or you can just take all those free products and have a garage sale on the weekends if you don't want to do a bunch of extra work and that garage sale can turn into a hundred or a couple hundred dollars. You can do that each and every week, just turning free items into paid items. Additionally, if you're somebody that has a bunch of stuff around your house that you don't use, those are sunk costs. These are items that you've already purchased that are no longer being used and you can sell those either at a garage sale or on eBay and make a good amount of money. And I actually have a community that I'm a part of and that I serve that's called the Treasure Hunting Profits Community where there's tons of people doing this. They're either finding products for free and selling them for much more on eBay or they're getting consignment items from other friends and family that don't want their items anymore and they don't want to list them on eBay and so they're able to list them on eBay for their friends and family and then split the profits 50-50 so it costs you nothing in inventory. I highly recommend checking out this community. If you head over to askjimmysmith.com forward slash eBay, you're going to be redirected to the Treasure Hunting Profits community where you can check out what's provided. But that's where you can learn about all these things to be able to take zero dollars and turn it into much, much more income. And I've done videos on this channel about that. Now, since this is about zero dollars, if you don't want to join that community and you want to get going first, try going to the Facebook Marketplace, try going to the next door app, look on the Freebies Alerts app and get free items from your local neighbors that then you can flip either on eBay or on a local marketplace to actually make some money from zero dollars. The reason people are giving them away a lot of times is because they just don't want to deal with the hassle of it and they're trying to get rid of them from their house and you can provide the service of picking up those items and then you can sell them in the future. The huge plus also looking at consignment can help you with your friends and family to take their items, sell it for them on eBay and split the profits 50-50 and it costs you nothing to get started. Now, the question is, what do you do after you start making some money through these three methods? I personally recommend an Amazon FBA business. You can also look at selling on Walmart where you're buying inventory, replenishable inventory that you can send into Amazon and sell it for a much higher markup, which allows you to build and scale that foundation into a much bigger business in the future. I've helped thousands of people do that. If you're interested in anything that I do, check out the links below and specifically check out the eBay community, the treasure hunting profits community and askjimmysmith.com forward slash eBay. It's an excellent place to be with tons of people having success on the eBay platform. So if you've got any questions, post them down in the comments below. If you have other methods that you recommend for starting with $0 and making money, post those in the comments and I'll be sure to read and reply to as many as I possibly can. I hope this video helps you and blesses you and you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.